Welcome, collectors and diecast enthusiasts. Thank you so much for joining me for this installment of Diecast Emporium. On today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the classic construction models Caterpillar Side by Side D9H track type tractor in 1 to 48 scale. As we always do, before we check out the actual model, let's go in and learn a little bit about the real machine's history. The D9 side by side was the solution for large earth moving and strip mine jobs that required moving massive amounts of material. In 1969, the same year CAT introduced the dual D9G for push loading, it also introduced the side by side D9G. The side by side tractors were connected to each other with joints at the rear and the two inside crawler track frames. This allowed one operator to drive both tractors simultaneously and operate its 24 foot blade. The two D9Gs combined for 770 horsepower and its replacement, this model, the D9H side-by-side, -side, introduced in 1974, was rated at 820 horsepower. The side-by-side -side tractors overall were met with mixed results, and by the early to mid-1980s, they were virtually non-existent on earth moving and mining jobs because newer, larger tractor technology, tractors like the D11N, proved much more efficient and cost effective. So that's a little bit of history. Then now why they became obsolete. In my mind, this is still a classic piece of heavy equipment. I unfortunately never had the opportunity to see this beast in the real world. So the best I could do is get a scale model of it. And actually, if you comb the internet, there's really not a lot of motion picture of a uh, D9, either the D9G or th this model, the D9H side by side. And I believe because there were only 11 and 13, respectively, um, if my research is correct, of these tractors made in the side-by-side -side configuration. So there's very little footage available of them. There's some pictures, obviously, but not a whole lot of video. Okay, so the model. As I said in the beginning of the video, it is made by Classic Construction Models. It was made in 2012, so it is a closed edition model, meaning you can no longer purchase this directly from CCM. You will have to source this from... Uh, third-party websites such as eBay, etc. It's made of 1 to 48 scale die cast. As you can see, for some of the details, it's a large model. The D9s, as most of you guys know, guys know, is a large tractor anyway. So in 1 to 48 scale, it's a rather large machine. It takes up the entire spinny table for the most part. As you heard during the description, the coolest aspect I think about this particular model is that it's really two tractors in one, but you really only needed one operator to drive it. You can see that it has a detailed enclosed cab and a detailed open cab. They have linked movable tracks that are metal, you can see on here, and they have some bolt detailing on each of the track shoes. Here's that big... Um, bolt or this this big bar that links the tractors together at the rear it is hard to see but there's the other bar right here on the inside of the uh, crawler tracks there that also helps link the tractors together the engine is visible through the open bays so you can take a look at both of the engines on this massive massive machine the blade is positionable, but again, you have to be really, really careful. I'll demonstrate that now. It actually will raise and tilt pretty decently, but it doesn't really like to hold that angle very well. And as you can see, we'll let it spin back around. It goes out more so than it tilts. You can see that right there. Now you can raise it as I teased just a minute ago want to make sure you do this simultaneously on both sides. I'm sure it will go higher than that, but again, being that this model itself is almost 10 years old, I certainly don't ever like to force anything on this channel, but I do like to point out some of the working features. So if you guys want to track one of these down, which by the way, nowadays you're going to be lucky to pick up this model for under $700. If you opt to want to be forceful with your model that you just paid $700 for, that's up to you. Me, I'm not going to do that. It's going straight in my CCM display case. Now, there is a lot of talk, unfortunately, um, about damage that happens with these models. This is actually my second model. Uh, my first one came with a bunch of damage to the 
hydraulic connections here and this bar itself was completely separated. There was a lot of paint chipping on it. Now obviously, who's to know if that happened um, in the factory in Korea where it was made uh, or if that happened in storage or really if, even if it happened in the shipping process uh, when it was delivered to me. Who knows? Uh, but there is, you know, there are, there are, I should say, there are horror stories about the entire D9 production run, uh, D9H specifically production run, regardless of which version you get, about their notorious for having a lot of problems with it. So I always encourage you, and I know this is really hard, especially if you're buying it off the internet, but if you're going to an auction um, and you have the chance to physically open it and inspect it before you buy it, absolutely do it. Uh, really, you want to do that with almost any model, obviously, if you have the chance to before you purchase it, but especially with these D9Hs. Okay, let's take a look at the packaging. We'll move the spinny table out of the way because the packaging is huge, obviously, you would assume, because it has to accommodate basically two models. Here it is. Now, this was the Block C or the Pac-Man era, and the box reflects that as well. Cat side-by-side -side D9H, track type tractor, classic construction models logo down there. Same thing. Same thing over here. And then underneath, once again, all of your information, classic construction models, copyright information. Uh, this model, copyright 2011, it actually was a 2012 release from CCM, and I believe I did mention this, but just to make sure, there were 650 made of the side-by-side -side version of this. So again, it is a very limited edition model. Not too many of them are still out there. So we'll put the blade back down like that. It also does come with a serial numbered spec brochure. So here's what that looks like. Pretty nice. You have the picture of the real machine there. Side-by-side -side tractor shown with optional ROPS is what it reads back down here. Summary of features, 820 flywheel horsepower. I mentioned that during my introduction about the real machine. Down here, here's the serial number, which you can't see, but it's right there. On the back, drawbar pull versus ground speed, steering, controls, air system, Tractor connections, bulldozer, standard equipment, optional equipment, dimensions, and shipping weight. So again, always very worthwhile to make sure you hang on to your certificate of authenticity, and they're really just fun to read. So there you go. So that will wrap up this review of a classic construction model in 1 to 48 scale. I was really excited to finally have the opportunity to add this to my collection. Again, I started collecting CCM models in 2014, so I never had the opportunity to get this straight from CCM. This was obviously a 2012 release, so we're talking about a couple years prior. So when the opportunity arose and I was finally able to get one of these, I jumped on it. I have to say I'm not disappointed. I am a little disappointed that it took me two versions to get one in one piece. But hey, you'll have that with any model. It is what it is. Uh, but it is a very impressive piece of technology. And uh, it's really kind of cool to see where the thinking was in the 70s, late, late 60s, early 70s, of uh, where the, the thinking was for mass excavating, mass earth moving, uh, and what ultimately led to the D10 and then later on the D11N. But you guys let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this model. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care and be safe, and I will see you in the next review.